Hey y'all, this week's quick tip is about Google Drive. And you may have noticed this pop up recently where it's talking about Google Drive shortcuts. So they've essentially just given a new name to what was already a shortcut and the way that we can have files exist in multiple folders inside of Google Drive. So it's just being replaced by this term and the icon is getting that little arrow that you see in that animation. So you may have noticed those popping up in your drive. This is super simple and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So you can use shortcuts to open a file or folder. You can rename, move, delete without changing the original file. So they're shortcuts, meaning they are shortcuts to the original file. It's like having a link. And that's something that we talk a lot about in terms of how Google Drive works and cloud computing. And then last and not least, is when you click on that little drive icon when something's shared with you with the plus sign, that's what it's doing, it's adding a shortcut. So somebody else's file that you have a link to inside your drive. So once you kind of wrap your head around what a shortcut is, let's talk about how we can use it in our drive to make things easier. So uh, Sarah Kiefer actually reached out to me. She said, Casey, I think this would make a great quick tip. She was helping a teacher learn how to put one file into multiple folders, which is something we've been able to do for a while, but it was a little cumbersome. Um, I have another video on that. Um, I will link the related videos down below so you can see those and get to those. But what we can do now is use some keyboard shortcuts to actually create shortcuts. So um, that's why that word shortcuts is gonna get super confusing. So in the previous video, we talked about how you can use Control C and Control V to copy and paste or Control X to cut. So cut would actually move the original file and C would make a copy of the file if you were copying but this is gonna create the shortcut. So what we need to do, we need to find the file that we want to create the shortcut for, and we are going to control C to copy, and you'll see down in the bottom there that it says item copy to clipboard, and then you can go drop it into multiple folders, just like this. There is a special keyboard command for this. So I select the folder, and it is not control V, but control shift V, and you'll see it's adding a shortcut. And so now when we open this folder, you'll see there is that shortcut. Now what's great is we can do this over and over and over. So I can click on the next folder, control shift V, I've added a shortcut. Next folder, control shift V, I've added a shortcut. Next folder, Control Shift V, I've added the shortcut. And that's how quickly you can now add that shortcut to a file inside multiple folders. So I hope you're used to this new terminology. Get used to it. If you like this tip, ring the bell and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. And if you haven't already, jump on over to shakeuplearning.com and check out all the free resources we have there. Bye, y'all.